Welcome back to Get It Garage. Today we're going to be installing a VCM tuner or Eco Delete on this 2010 Honda Pilot. And we're going to talk about some of the advantages of doing this upgrade to your vehicle. Stay tuned. What is VCM? Select Hondas and Acuras between 2003 and 2017 equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 or J series with variable cylinder management or VCM. Once the engine has reached approximately 167 degrees, VCM is permitted to activate during highway light driving or at constant speeds when not under heavy load. It disables one bank of three and in some cases even four out of six cylinders to achieve better gas mileage while illuminating a green eco light on the dashboard. Why is it bad? This system has several damaging symptoms including vibration problems, misfire issues, fouling of spark plugs, and most of all excessive oil burning issues of up to one quart for every 1,000 miles. In 2013, a class action lawsuit was filed against Honda for some of these issues to which they offered a limited warranty extension and payback of out-of-pocket costs for engine misfire related repairs. How do you fix it? Several different companies sell products to defeat the VCM in various different applications, but they all basically have the same thought in mind. Trick the VCM system so it does not engage eco mode. Today we will be installing the VCM Tuner 2, which costs around $120 online, and I will put a link in the description below where we purchased ours. Installation is very quick and simple, and should be very similar on all of these 3.5 liter engines. So let's show you how to install that now. So the first thing you're going to want to do before you do anything, make sure that you let your vehicle cool all the way down so it's been sitting and it hasn't been running and make sure that nothing has been touched pretty much for at least an hour before you go and do this. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this cover across the top and this duct if you have this duct on your vehicle just to get a little better access to where we need to be. We're going to pop these two clips off, which I already did, and there's also a clip here and a clip down in here and then this cover will come off. And then once you pop these clips out, this will come right off. Once you remove these covers, you'll see down here this cable right here. If you follow your radiator hose down, it leads right to it pretty much. We're going to go ahead and disconnect that. There's a clip there and that's where we're going to be connecting the VCM tuner. So there's a little clip on the side of this right here. And you just push that in and it will release and you're left with an open sensor right there and then this here. So now we're going to take the VCM tuner and we're going to slide it down through right here by the battery. So you're going to take your two pigtails and try to slide them down behind these wires right here. Pop out on the other side. Like that. Slide it through. You're going to take this right here and position it so that this piece right here goes onto this right here, the hole right there. And it, you can bend it to however you need to to make it fit right. It's designed to fit right down in here. Slide that right down in there. Like that. And then you take the wing nut. Take the wing nut. And just tighten it down right there. Alright, so you're going to want to make sure that you keep this red cable up here because we're going to connect that to the battery after we connect the connectors down below. But you just want to make sure that that red cable is accessible to reach the battery. But first, we're going to go down here and where we unplugged this cable before, we're going to take the same end, which would be this one right here, and plug it down into there. And then we're going to take this end that we unplugged and plug it into here. It may be easier to connect this to the one that you unplugged before first before plugging this in because you may not be able to reach down in there to plug it in after. Just might be easier. Oop, click. And you're going to take this one and go plug it in down there. Once it's all plugged in, it should look something like that. And you take the piece of Velcro and just secure the wire to the, the rest of the wire so it's not flopping around in there. Now, the last part to hooking this up is going to be pop this up, you take off this 10 millimeter nut right here, and we're going to put this wire right under there, and then put the nut back on. Once you get the cable on there, just make sure you tighten that nice and securely. It's not a bad idea to throw a little bit of uh, dielectric grease on there so that it doesn't corrode. 
So we got all our covers put back together and we're going to take it for the first drive and let it warm up and make sure that we don't have any check engine lights and that the eco light no longer comes on at cruising speeds. So in conclusion, as you can see, the VCM has been successfully defeated and we no longer have the eco light coming on on our dashboard. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button below. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like to add, leave a comment. And lastly, please hit the subscribe button to see future videos like this. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.